when materials are just discovered. People don't really care much for how long they're going to live, but at the moment it comes to practical applications, you really need to have materials that will last long enough to perform their function, and sometimes this is years or maybe decades. And this is the reason we started to study a lifetime of vaccines under real applications conditions. We previously uh, studied uh, vaccines, which are two-dimensional carbides and nitrides, like uh, similar to graphene sheets assembled into films, under room temperature conditions. Or we looked into high temperature applications and humidity. But what appeared that when very high humidity and high temperature are combined together, water molecules find their way between vaccine sheets so what we needed to do is to find a way to protect maxine from uh, water infiltration because it decreases conductivity and it means that uh, properties of maxines degrade. So the way uh, we uh, reported in this particular paper was intercalating organic molecules, which fill the space, which uh, made material uh, hydrophobic uh, and prevented water from penetrating material, and this significantly decreases uh, uh, drop in conductivity we observed under these extreme conditions. Of course, we conducted other studies looking into making maxines intrinsically hydrophobic, uh, improving uh, fundamental stability of maxines, and altogether we know now we can offer two-dimensional materials, which can work under a variety of conditions and perform very well actually living up to a decade, uh, still keeping their conductivity. And I'm really glad uh, we have achieved very significant progress in this field, and we look forward to seeing uh, vaccines in a variety of applications uh, at really large scales in the very near future.